What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with V-Flat World. I'm in my studio today with Ali Sutton and we are trying to recreate this iconic cover from Esquire in 1965, so check it out. Our goal for this shot was to recreate this March 1965 cover of Esquire, uh, which showed a lady on there with some shaving cream, shaving. So Ali's shooting some product for a razor company, and we thought it'd be fun to recreate that shot. So I wanna run through what we have set up as far as lights, as far as V-flats, and just kind of show you why we're using certain stuff and kind of how we got the image. So we're shooting with a two light setup here. We've got a Profoto A2 with the 2.7 click Okta, and then actually directly in front of that, we've got another A2 with the Magnum reflector on there, and I'll explain why I have that in a second. But we are using a single V-flat as our uh, background, so we just got the black side up, and then I threw up a trifold white. You can use another V-flat, really any reflector just to kind of get some kickback so it doesn't have quite as much fall off. And speaking of fall off, I've got these lights really close to her. Uh, so I turn the power down, hits her, doesn't really travel too much further. So we keep that background nice crisp black like the original shot we're trying to recreate. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what each light does individually and then I'll show you kind of why I have them where they are. So for this shot, we have a pretty tight crop because again, we're trying to recreate an image that's already been done. So I've got her really kind of filling up the whole frame with a little bit of room above her head. And we've got the shaving cream on there. It's a little bit on the blue side, but that's totally okay. Nothing we can't fix later. But I wanna show you what it looks like with just this Octabox here. So I'm gonna turn off my second light. And it looks pretty good. It just doesn't quite have that punch, and I'm gonna add that second one in, and the reason for that is because I wanna get some shine in the hair. That's really almost the only reason for it, is just to get a little bit of shine, a little bit of punch, kinda of gives you that extra oomph. Back in those days, they'd probably be shooting with a lot harder of light sources, um, but I wanted to have kind of the soft light with the Octabox, but I'm throwing that Magnum Reflector, the Stroh with Magnum Reflector in in front of it just to kind of get that, that extra punch, just to kind of have a little more contrast. So let me show you what that light looks like just by itself. And you'll kind of see what it does. And that's just a little bit too harsh. And obviously I've also got the power down on that so it doesn't overpower it when I combine it with the other light. But when I have those two combined, you know, we kind of have a nice soft light but also have a nice, uh, you know, a nice punch that kind of gives it that 60s look. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow V Flat World. If you want to check out any of my work, check me out online at Next Level Workshops or on the social media at Ready Light Media. And big thanks to Ali Sutton for helping us out today. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave those below, and I'll see you next time.